All right, so I was just wondering if anybody has ever bought something that they thought was like the best thing in the world and um, I don't know, it turns out to be like crap. <laughs> story of my life. So when I was in sixth grade, I always used to like to straighten my hair. So one day my mom decides to take me to Sally's to maybe, I don't know, find a really good blow dry so I wouldn't have to use my hair straightener as much. So the woman who worked there wasn't helpful at all. So I asked her, um, I'm looking for a really good blow dryer. Then she looks at me and she goes, see that corner over there? And I said, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, shampoos, I need that too. And then she goes, well, that corner is filled with shampoos to cure dry damaged hair. Excuse me. I don't think she heard me right. Does a blow dryer sound like a shampoo? Cause if it does, girl, you need some Q-tips cause I'ma help you clean those ears. So we walked down to the shampoos and it was like, she recommended the shampoo that was like for horses with severe dry damaged hair. And she goes, you know, I think this one is good for you. And I'm thinking, so what you're saying is, I've got fried horse hair. And then she finally recommends a really good blow dryer. And um, if crap means good, then tell me how I can say to a girl, ooh, girl, your tan looks like crap, okay? And now according to me, if you're gonna get a blow dryer that's under $10, okay, that's another word for crap. My mom used to just lie to me and tell me it was the best blow dryer she's ever had because she's had one from, I don't know, maybe when like the 1920s and it still works, so she says. But some people just get lucky with items that they've had from like the World War I. First of all, nobody ever looks stylish in a brick phone. And if there's people out there, um, I think I've got some few therapy numbers you can call. My blow dryer was like a blow dryer from hell. This blow dryer was like on its period. Every other day it would either make my hair look like crap or hideous. One of the two. There was never a pretty. Mm -hmm. And when I was in sixth grade, I used to sit next to this girl who had like long pretty Pocahontas hair and stuff. And the teacher separated all the boys and the girls. So the boys would always look across the girls and stuff. So this girl, every day, I swear, she would always take her four fingers and just you know do one of those comb your fingers through your hair and stuff and make it look all sensual like and all the beef jerky bad boy breath cootie boys um would always just you know stare at her and just you know drool and stuff ew so one day when my blow dryer i just got in a fight and um i lost because i had like the most frizziest afro ever and one day just this boy just happened to look my way so right away right away out of instinct i just you know gathered my 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 hands and i just like with my friends and stuff and it's like oh no it's stuck look away boy oh yeah kids elementary school would always stick pencils in my hair because when tests came around psh, nobody brought a pencil because you know somebody will just pull it out of my hair and stuff and no girls wanted to mess with me because with my frizz my hair was like hard and coarse and just rough and so you know if they try to come close my hair and I are just ready to fight, you know, poke them like needles. So anyways, my point is how often do you get a product that works so well that you just want to hug and love and dubby dub. So this blow dry right here, this is from TGR Zen and it's from Hot... Oh, well, I think it fell because I just said the wrong name, damn. Okay, this is a blow dryer from Flatiron Experts and... It's like one of the best blow dryers I've ever, ever had. I also really like the fact that it has this nozzle right here. So uh, every time I strain my hair, it's so easy for me. You know, it doesn't come in direct contact with your hair, not like a flat iron. Um, it comes off too. Like, it's it comes off really easy, I swear. Okay, so you just, you just. Oh, come on, not in this video, man. Okay, okay, there you go. Some people may wonder what this is used for because a blow dryer just looks like this. So when you blow dry your hair and you have like a brush, it, your hair won't come in direct contact with that black hole right there because that stuff will get your hair and it'll just rip off and that. Uh, so putting this on actually makes blow drying your hair a lot easier when you're straining it. This blow dryer actually has 60% faster drying time because of the terminal negative ions. Uh, what's a terminal negative ion? Oh no. 
just kidding the negative ions actually is what makes your hair look shiny radiant smooth and it preserves the color and the moisture of your hair and that's why it's so great when you straighten your hair with a straightener your hair is just usually flat and boring and no life to it but when you blow dry it um, it actually gives it more volume and stuff I use four different kinds of, um, of brushes and brushes are really important when you want to straighten your hair uh, with a blow dryer. This is the big one, the big barrel one. This is what I use for my under layers because my under my hair is a lot thicker and it's very coarse. You know, you can hurt somebody with this like bad little boy, bad little boy. The bristles for this one is really, really coarse. Mm -hmm. It can get anybody's eye. And then I use the medium size one. This is the big one. This is the medium. And I like to use this for the top layers of my hair, just like that. Um, I like these. These are the two that I would mostly use. And I actually use this small one for my bangs because I have smaller, shorter hair. So that gives me easy rounding of the hair like that. For this one, um, I don't know, people with like really bad perms and stuff and they just need to like blow dry it. Yeah. I don't really ever use this one unless I'm styling it and like attempting to curl my hair with a blow dryer. So if you want to know how to volumize your hair with the blow dryer, keep on watching.